Ross, such a tight game. What was the difference in your eyes? Oh, look, I thought we were lucky to be close. Um, they left the gate open. Um, well, credit to John. I thought their intensity around the ball. Um, and then their front half defence was very strong. We struggled to extricate it a bit. And we're disappointed with our method around the ball. Um, and we, under the conditions, it was pretty slippery and they were swarming the contest. That we were just a bit cute with the ball. We felt every time we just surged it and got it from the inside to the outside quicker. We, we thought we looked dangerous, which I think ultimately the scoreboard sort of told a little bit. Um, so half time, you know, we're closer than we probably should have been. Um, and then the method improved in the third, but it was still, it was, I, I tell you what I do know, the phone in the coach's box, very sturdy, because they've got to work out. Um, I haven't banged the phone like that for years, right? So it was very therapeutic. Um, <laughs> but I was frustrated because, you know, this group's been very predictable um, to delivering what we want to, and it was just, for whatever reason, we're quite inconsistent with our method in, in the different phases of the game. So, um, and just when I thought we were putting them under some pressure, we'd kicking them out on the mark or dink it and that sort of thing. So it was a frustrating night. I thought that would be a better term of the night, but I really admired how we never gave up and ultimately gave ourselves a chance to win, really. with um, we, we did, not we, the players did a few things that enabled them to score quickly late. So that, that was pleasing, but um, overall we walk away frustrated with our performance and all credit to Geelong. I suppose it's not easy coming down here, but that's a theory, but I just said it's another ground. Sydney are a great model of relentless action and you know, unfurling of flags and 80,000 interstate travel. It doesn't matter when you're fully committed and you're on the same page. So that's what most people are chasing the AFL and I thought that was an opportunity for us tonight that we didn't quite know. What did you make of your new additions? Looks like Wilson's a fan favourite with the fans behind the goal. Well, it's pretty exciting, the debutantes, isn't it? Like Wilson and Collard, we'd come on and inject some speed in and I thought he gave us some life. And, and Wilson, it's the start of a journey for him. Like, he's got plenty to improve. I thought he did some nice things. and um, You know, he, he'll grow in, in stature physically and, and within the game with how he plays and runs. So... I think he'll enjoy the wide open expanse of the MCG. What's this, 116 metres wide? Um, what's the MCG? 140 odd. So I think he'll enjoy the extra width. And Bonner. Hey? And Bonner. Yeah, I can go for more. All the new guys, Bonner. It was tough, the ball was living there. Yeah, I thought he had some good moments, some moments he could improve on. I thought Liam Heron here, he, you know, showed why we recruited him and gave us a chance to win. Um, who else at Collard? Who else? I think that's about it for. Yeah, yeah. So, look, maybe that was a part of it. But um, Crouch, we, we brought in. He'll, he'll get better again, you know, I thought, considering he hadn't played a practice game. And we had a couple that just at the end got interrupted. Win Hager with his hand. He wasn't at his best, but um, he'll be better for the run. But we wanted to reward his summer. And same as Philip, who the last two weeks he's been interrupted. So... As young players, we'd like more continuity, but we'd already had two debutants in, so um, we, we were just trying to find the balancing act. What did you do in the last, say, three or four minutes of the game when you got three goals in a rush that you didn't do as well in the first? I can't hear you. Well, what did you do in the last three minutes of the game when you got three goals in a hurry that you, know, you weren't quite doing in the first? Well, I think both teams were trying to score. It was very difficult. It's a difficult ground, fierce heat. Not much, really, to be honest. We we just made we won the ball, and made better decisions, went forward and executed. I think both teams have some horrendous errors, but they? Right? Round one throws up lots of different things. Um, so we'll just lick our wounds um, and get ready for Collingwood and MCG. It's our home game. We'd love all our fans and members to get there. Um, a lot of them. Our members are financial members and support us, but um, we've we just got to get back into the habit of getting along to to the game. So I implore, implore them to get there, get behind us. If you get anyone back, Sinclair, maybe Yeah, there's a good chance. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at all that, yeah. So 
Um, but yeah, just licking my wounds a bit, you know. I, I think we set expectations of performance and internally, and we, we just didn't quite live up to that today. The things you went through earlier um, that went wrong, are they easy enough to fix, do you think, week to week? Well, yeah, we're process driven. Um, we have a method. We've delivered it for a long time, and we've done a lot right over summer. So we'll go back to the last, yeah, the two weeks, have a look at it. You know, there's always little bits and pieces. You play on the Sunday, have a short break, into the break. Ideally, you finish on the Saturday. I think we're the only team in North that played on the Sunday. Don't quite understand why, why that would be. Just puts that week under pressure, and then. We, we had a really good lead-in, though, so we've had a good summer. We're fit, we're available. No excuse there. All credit to Geelong. I thought their best players played well. I thought Dangerfield was very good. I thought Cameron was very good. Um, and Stewart was pretty good, wasn't he? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.